Onwards, my navy. You now have a beautiful little stopping point, which is great. Maybe, I'm just actually thinking, if I kill this catapult, and I can give myself a little bit more religious burst in this area, but no doubt we will find some main units before that point. I think this is a city, isn't it? Copan. Oh, it follows another religion. That isn't my religion. I mean, it definitely, that says Sikhism. But I'm not entirely sure that's right. Yeah, look at that. It's going to follow my religion very soon, which is intriguing. Can we find any main units to kill? They've only got 162 strength. So they haven't got the hugest amount in the world, but they should have enough to make this worth it. Oh, I wish I was Norway. Observatories there to kill. Oh, look, another city here as well. Oh, they might be crabs. Hasn't gone anywhere near close to taking this one, but that doesn't matter. We can just bring our Dromans in and have a little bit of fun. This should help to spread my religion. Oh, look at that. Yes, it does. The Copan already follows my religion. Do I go? I mean, this is quite cool. Like, uh, the mean Akashi temple. That's a tongue twister, isn't it? Um, I could I mean my Dromans are pretty much making short work of this city already So you know what I might just see if I can lure some defense out. Uh, I'll send the other Dromans up north For now this will be fine uh, Actually look there is a sword uh, a, a spearman there, which is quite cool I bought myself a heavy chariot and then I can bring the chariot over and do some plundering maybe uh, The galley is here as well I might not even need to plunder. I think I might be able to just take the cities over before my melee units actually get there, which is astounding. By the way, uh, I'm, I'm declaring war on Rapid Noi. Um, I don't like it. And quite frankly, there's enough crusade in this area that I can I can kill some of their swordsmen if needed. In fact, actually, if I just get you to come into their land, that gives you a huge defensive bonus. Lovely. Right. Just still spreading the religion around. That's all we're doing. There it is. Divine right. Build two temples. Have I really not done that? There's a temple there. Oh no, actually that will be my second temple. So yeah, was Constantinople. As soon as that's built, this should boost. Oh, just like stop teasing me about my cavalry. My cavalry is great, okay? It's fine. Uh, city center only does five damage. That's not bad, actually. I will take that. Um, hang on, if I bring you to there. Lovely. <laughs> I don't actually know what I will find once I go in here. Um, is it worth it? Yeah, let's actually just get one more attack going. Get the galley in to finish. What am I going to find? Um, I took away some of the religion, but the oh, rebellion is pretty nasty. I'm going to have to get Moshka in immediately just to come and quell that as much as I can. Um, okay, there are more units. Just need my units to come in. See if I can... Uh, just drive them out a little bit. Always use the loyalty screen to work out where the cities are. So there are at least two cities up in this direction, which is a little bit annoying because that's inland, but then there's also some stuff in that direction. Okay, that is fine. Actually, there wasn't any particularly good pillaging to be had in this city, so that's not, that's not the biggest loss. This is Batal. That's Batal I want to pillage. Oh, I don't mind pillaging and having to fix again. That is absolutely fine on my end. Um, hang on, this Droman. Yeah, let's do one more attack. Do I focus on the city? No, let's take the units out. I think it's worth it. Schwieden, nice to meet you. Where are you? You're off down here. It's 14 pop. Oh, my goodness, that is a lot of pop. Yeah, just trading with people. Everyone's still my friend. Um, oh no, Rapa no you see, oh, they took the bait. I actually moved that builder there deliberately because I think my swordsman should be able to come round and just pinch. Yeah, look at that. Easily done. Oh, it fell right into my trap. I definitely didn't build this wall in Istanbul because I don't trust the Mongolians. Not at all. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. Dear, oh dear, I would, oh. How could you ever, how could you ever think that? Um, hang on, uh, heavy chariot. If I build that, the tagma should come in very, very soon. In fact, declare friendship. Oh, you see that Mongolia fell into my trap. Okay, so they are my friends. They can't declare war on me. What about... Do, 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 do. do we go for Sumeria? Hmm. Hmm. They may not actually like me. I'm going to make friendship with them while... Yeah, okay, for now they do. I reckon we've only got that last friendship with them. They may abandon me very soon, actually. Evangelize belief. What else have we got in our locker? Three buildings. Oh, the mosque. I, you see, you know I love the mosque. The mosque is a great building. That missionaries and apostles, plus one spread. 
that's really really good but the stupor plus one immunity would help massively with spreading my religion and uh, sorry um, in my my empire and keeping keeping me happy i don't think i even need the mosques because quite frankly my my units are doing that for me i guess it kind of just backs it up doesn't it but no i think having extra immunity means we're gonna have extra stuff everywhere now I, I quite like this as an idea we want to be as happy as we can be okay that is copan taken does that give me that religion boost no killing okay killing the crossbow in the city is not enough to give the religion boost you actually have to kill the unit outright actually useful to note didn't know that you see we're learning we're learning every day uh, the dromans keep coming this way in fact actually if i can get that unit killed oh i can't quite how unfortunate never mind whoa my swordsman can just chop down the walls without a battering ram oh my god that's nuts the battering ram's still on the way sure okay i'll do that that, that sounds brilliant killing the crossbow oh i can't reach it there oh no that's a different unit that's why okay that's good pull the droman in take that death oh the religion's spreading it's gonna take a little bit to get the kill but i can get that one as well oh yeah you know it's actually this visibility it's not quite as useful where somebody has a religion already but it's still pretty powerful i can't really complain here we go keep pushing in like so boom oh there we go let the religion is finally coming off this is lovely the heavy chariot makes its way in what can i find what can i pillage heavy chariots i am buying a couple of bits and units of they're pretty useful actually especially because i'm about to be able to upgrade them which will help oh i ah uh, freaking i missed that guy oh, i just had my battering ram destroyed that's so annoying right okay classical republic is really good in come the monarchy however we like a good monarchy especially when i have such an amazing crown the crown this guy's got basil the second it's, it's just it's just a good crown really like it scripture is really useful but i am going to get builders going uh for now but in the meantime chivalry so we can be getting our units together and i think conscription or no limes limes is definitely worth it all right good in fact actually have i forgot the pillaging one yet no i haven't got pillaging yet once I get that, we, we've learnt from previous playthroughs. We're going to be sort of on that as best we can. Right, let's just keep getting those attacks in. Is that the walls done? Yeah, walls are down. Good. This swordsman, come and help out here. We'll get this guy killed. Okay, that's good. Wonderful. We're actually, the tagma's being built now. That is lovely. How much for a tagma promotion? 320 gold. Okay, well, seeing as I'm making 63 per turn, that's not too bad, actually. Ah, oh, there it is, military training. Lovely. How many times have we done this? We've got all of these cities and no nighter. There's some up there, which is good. Okay, there's two down in Mongolia. Oh, we're about to take one in the holy site. That's useful. And there's some up there in the frozen north. Okay, great, 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 great. Nothing up that way. No point in sending the navy in that direction. Fine. Okay, we know the drill. We need to focus on enemy units in order to spread our crusading religion so there's three dromans one attack two attacks three attacks okay wow these swordsmen are pretty tough do they have defender of the faith no jesuit education huh that's just very tough fair play we've met nan the doll which is an interesting one districts on or next to coast tiles count as two yes yes actually that is one we do want to keep that is a really really good one because that's going to give us a huge amount of culture going forward so let's just quickly plunk two envoys in that one because every single city i've got is pretty much all naval i mean with a couple of exceptions that's pretty much where we're going with this right now statue of zeus what does that do again grants three arches three spearmen and a battering ram plus 50 percent towards an anti-cavalry unit oh it's so good such a good wonder oh i love it that's screw it. I'm just going to try and build it. There's no way we will build it, but it's worth a try. The Chichen Itza is now mine as well. Thank you very much. How's our loyalty doing a rebellion in nine turns? Nine whole turns, really? Huh. I need to get my religion onto that as quick as I can. We really need to get a couple of kills here. Struggling. Right, if I can just... Oh, it's not quite a kill. Oh, it's so close. 
so close. I can't get my Tagma in as well, which is a little bit annoying. Um, hang on. If I move you to there, move you across, and then I go one attack with the Tagma, and then the swords... Oh, no, the heavy... Ch uh, no, hang on. Get you to attack, and then get the heavy chariot to attack. That's one kill. Oh, there we go. Okay, right. My religion has gone to one of the cities. Okay, slowly getting there. Slowly getting there. Haven't really been needing to do this, but I'm actually going to get a missionary and charge the missionary in and see if we can speed it across. I'm going to gamble on the fact that Sweden wants to put wine through. Let's do that. I like the idea of getting culture bombs. Again, we've got no votes to play with, so the chances of me winning this... Uh, oh no, I did win one. I always tend to win one. It's quite good. It's quite good. All right, pillaging time. Please get yourself back in order. Lovely. Right. Tagmo is doing good. Now, Tikal, this is actually their religious holy site. So if I can win this one over, my Texas gets another bunch of bonuses. So I go to plus six strength, which would be an amazing, amazing improvement. And we're still firing, uh, finding me and random warriors everywhere. Oh, I can't kill the damn things, but I'm finding them, which is good. Serfdom, it's one of my favorites. Okay, Limes is useful. But I would prefer to have, what is it, pillaging, 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 raid! Woohoo! Just having 75 strength when you steal something is, is, is so much better than 50. I can't tell you how useful that is as a skill. Alright, you can see I'm barely... Oh, actually, we've got the city under siege. Oh, thank god. Right, we can actually take our time on this now. Um, you just heal a little bit. Oh, lovely. Okay, this is coming back now. Thank God, we may actually steal the city state. I was worried <laughs> I wasn't going to do it. Look how weak all my units are. Oh, I've got a Tagma on the way, but still, I was worried I'd fluffed my lines on that one. Never mind. Can I take the city? Yes, I can. He he he. Oh, it's a lovely little city, actually. Fair play. Right, good. Uh, as you can see, we are just slowly increasing our influence in these areas. Let's just go fix this. Everything can be fixed up in a matter of turns. At some point, Suleiman, I will turn on you. I just haven't really decided when at the moment. I'm just, I don't know, I'm just not quite feeling it yet. One one day I will. One day I will. Oh, military emergency one. Fantastic. All right. Um, shall we go for it? I think a Mongolian deal is probably better first because I'm more likely to go after Sumeria. Although actually saying that, Sweden's in the game. Sweden is in the game. What am I thinking? 190 diplomatic favor? I'm sure Sweden would like that. What would you give me for that? Uh, you know what? They'll give me everything. Everything they've got. I reckon I can probably do that for 75? Just trying to work out what their usual exchange rate is. A little bit more than that. Okay, not too much more though. That's a great deal. And Mongolia will go for the rest of that because I don't think... Actually, no, Canada. Canada. Canada would like some. God, we've actually got the two best people in the game for it. We don't mind about keeping Canada in if they're going to give me all their gold. Lovely. Look at that. So that will give me a lot of a lot of gold. Can I spread the religion to Tikal? Not quite yet. Okay, that means we've got to at least get this kill first. Bang. There we go. That will do. And now we have plus six. And we've also got Crusade as well. So we've got an amazing combination of stuff here. Lovely. Ethiopia. Nice to meet you. Oh, an Ethiopian apostle. I mean, I could just kill it immediately. I mean, it's tempting. My religion is the best, after all. Which is it? Eastern Orthodoxy. How many cities are following that? I've got 24 following my religion at the moment. 20. Oh, quite strong. Okay, fine. So uh, we've, we've pretty much got rid of... So Sikhism is now gone. That's good. Okay, so we're one religion down. But yeah, Ethiopia, we've got to keep an eye on those guys. Oh, that's a big peace deal. But no, sorry, mans, I want your land. Because quite frankly, you being part of my empire is much better for me here. Persia. Persia. Have you actually... The, I saw zoo, Zoastrianism in there. Uh, zo, Zoroastrianism. No, it's actually not them. Uh, do they have one? No, they don't. Ah, oh, okay. Well, there we go. Okay, Nanadol have explored a lot of stuff. There's Persia. 
Okay, and there's uh, Scotland. All of those look pretty readable, actually, to be fair. Scotland looks like they don't really have a religion. Whose religion is Eastern Orthodoxy? That's Ethiopia's, isn't it? All right, so maybe we're going to have to keep an eye on these guys. I think we're just going to keep our army marching ever east. We're going to have to just sort of bring loads and loads of army into battle. Yeah, Robert the Bruce, nice to meet you. Don't really care. Um, <laughs> Uh, 880 for a tagma. Oh, it's just, it's a lot of money. Hmm, what do I do? Do I just keep on raiding for now? I, just, I think I might just bring my units back a little bit. Get them to bring something out. And then we'll just keep raiding for now. Oh, look. Is that really their religion? Oh, no, I was going to say, their religion's not on that city, surely. Okay. You know what? I do need another unit, don't I? My tagma. My capital is slowly, once it's done with these buildings, I am going to be building a Grand Master's Chapel. It's going to take me a while, but once I've got that, I should be in a good place. And also, look, Sumeria losing that city. So I'm just conveniently moving my swordsmen up to the border there. I'm also going to conveniently declare a surprise war on Ethiopia. They're ages away from me, and quite frankly, I don't think I can stand their apostles just swimming around like this. No, 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 no. If we can stop that from happening pretty quickly, we'll be in a good place. I met Coupe somewhere. Don't know where they are, but they're... um on the map. Cartography! Woohoo! Okay, I've got volcanoes going off everywhere, which is rather unfortunate. Rebellion in two turns, that's looking pretty good, isn't it? Um, I think Sumeria's lands, I mean, they're pretty good, but it's, it's mostly desert. I'm not, I'm not exactly impressed with what they've got. They've got a lot of campuses there, so I shouldn't, you know, put my nose up at them too much. This religion is proving tricky to shift Sikhism. Okay, what can I do about that? My Tagma units are pretty tough, so let's just quickly... Gee, do I do that? Or should we use the Dromans? Uh, let's get you in a little bit. I can actually get a city attack in because you haven't got the movement to attack yourself. If I go one attack like that, and then I'll get this Tagma to come in. I kind of need you to upgrade. So let's give you charge, and then we'll get the swordsman in to do the kill. There we go. Oh, yes. Oh yes, okay, the religion is, is now in. It's now in and ready to go. We are happy with how things are going. You know what? I might actually just take the city over now. How many turns have we got? One turn on this one turn. Uh, do I just get myself an archer in? I, I might have to, there we go. The loyalty is now stabilized. I was hoping to not have to do that, but that's okay. Wait, up, this invasion's going pretty well, actually. I can't really complain. I mean, so well. I might actually get myself a hippodrome. Let's just do it. Four turns, get myself a three unit. Love it. There is Tikal. Oh yeah. Keep that city. Thank you very much. And this swordsman will come in. Now, I should be able to, yeah, look at that. My t <laughs> because the city follows my religion, my units can just basically charge straight in, which is pretty good. Uh, oh, I was hoping I'd kill that one. Uh, never mind. I'm just, is it better just, I think it might be better to play safe than now. We've got enough units. We've got some builders here now. I mean, yeah, that's a good unit. But I'd rather have the Hippodrome built, I think. As I say, it's all about keeping good immunities, but the fact that I get a three horse unit when I, when I finish that is, is just even better. Oh, fair play. Well, it rebelled. Musketmen's appear and uh, they, they killed my swordsman. Whoops. Um, cool. It's a little bit more effective than I kind of hoped it would be. <laughs> Even with crew, I, I guess I didn't have crusade because I wasn't stood in their territory. Oh, well, we'll go and send the other swordsmen over and see if we can push in. It was no accident. Wonderful. Golden Age again. I'm the only person to be in a Golden Age. <laughs> Beautiful. Hicksunk Draconas. Do I get that or do we get monumentality again? I mean, admittedly, I'm not doing much of my faith at the moment, so maybe I should just do it. Yeah, let's actually make a concerted effort this time to get myself some settlers, because there's a lot of land in which to settle, and it's only 195. I should have been doing this before, admittedly, but I wasn't. And I need to take responsibility for that. There we go, there's at least three settlers have been produced now. That should be absolutely fine. Come on, Canada, lose loyalty. These cities need to get bigger, I think. And again, this is what I love. It's like, do I 880 gold for a tagma or 600 gold for an arena and a tagma? I'll, I'll take the arena. Woohoo! 
Oh no, Ur seems to have fallen. Oh, what a shame. Oh, with this intact district that I can just plunder. Oh, you know, admittedly Canada did take this city, but they're going to lose that in like four turns. So, you know, I'll let them have their fun on last one. I was just wondering if I should actually attack Cahokia. But I don't know if I can be bothered just with one unit. I might have to wait until I've got a couple of units, but you know, I'll kind of lurk if I can get into their lands. As you can see, Crusade. They might be crabs is kind of everywhere at the moment. And because we've learned the lesson of this from last time, we are going to pillage the hell out of everything before we take this city. It is just worth it on all levels. Actually, that tagma couldn't even do that. There's nothing more to pillage. Okay, that is pillaged. I believe that is the Mayans out of the game. Oh, they won't stand the test of time. What a shame. What a shame. But you know what? There's a lot of cities that have not been named. I need to get on this. I think, I think the names look pretty good now. It, it's not at all confusing. It's Istanbul. Was Constantinople. Now it's Istanbul. It's not Constantinople. Been a long time gone, Constantinople. Now a Turkish delight on a moonlit night. Every girl in Constantinople lives on Istanbul, not Constantinople. So if you have a date in Constantinople, she'll be waiting in Istanbul. You see, it's very simple. I, I, you, you guys just need to, you know, think about it. Remember it. It's, it's, I reckon you can get that. Persia's up next declare formal war okay i saw a lot of their units just skulking around at sea that's what we're hoping for just can we find any any embarked units anywhere oh like so i mean yes if you insist on embarking your units i will come and find them for you Let's see if we can take any of them out like this one for instance persia you don't appear to have any walls up was this a deliberate choice or are you just being really easy to kill this is lovely. This feels like the Norway playthrough all over again. Ah, oh, thank you so much. I'm just going to steal all your stuff before I take you over. Is that okay? Is that acceptable? Thank you. I, I just, I really appreciate that. Oh, look, they kept their units in the sea. They kept their units in the sea. All right, now, it's going to take a couple of kills in order to start spreading our religion, but as soon as we do, oh, you just wait. Just the ability to pepper all of these cities is just amazing I, oh this is so much fun because it's just like and here is my religion Hada! look at that we've already got one we've already got one okay well there we go uh i don't know which tile is these i think this city i've got to be in this tile to get the bonus but there is a good chunk just by settling one city i've now got three more than the next nearest i know that it's purely because i've just got so many cities here uh, you know what uh gonna be no food is a let's get a holy site going and uh, I do kind of want that nighter which is kind of the reason I settled that city in the first place also again arena new unit now do I take over Sumeria or do I keep them as a military ally because I think I might go after Mongolia I might you know what? I will keep I think I'm gonna keep Sumeria as a military ally uh, just I mean they're gonna want a little bit for this but if I do manage to sort of sway them onto side, there we go, like this. That doesn't mean I can't do loyalty pressure to them, so we'll continue to, to ramp up the loyalty, especially because I'll have Hippodrome to do, the, to do all my things. But if I now convince them to join in with my war, which actually they're going to struggle with because they haven't met half the people, but we're going to keep them, keep them in mind. I think actually they may be a good long-term ally. I do think that. Now the dog got taken from me, and I'm now down to 78 culture. Now I'm at 120. It's worth about 60% extra culture. Yeah, I need to hang on to that one. That is pretty, pretty impressive. Let's just get one more kill here. No, didn't quite kill it. Okay, no worries. That is fine. Let's just use the galley to do it instead. Okay, why are we not, why are we not converting? Come on, don't be shy. Square rigging gives me embarked unit movement. That is lovely. Okay, in terms of our units now, we're doing pretty good. I think I might go towards the Kurosar, however, just to make sure that I've got a good old bonus for my horsemen. Uh, we are doing tech-wise pretty good from memory. Okay, so we've got one, two, three people converted. Um, we have two capitals captured. I don't know if we're going to go for religion or domination, to be fair. It's going to be one of the two. Oh, you know what? I'm actually behind in tech. Sweden's got 36 techs. Wow. All right, we, I thought we were doing pretty good with 100 cents, but no, we've got to catch up, clearly. Our sweeping military victories mean naught. One more city 
here. Okay, I'm getting myself a good old builder in nice and quickly. He's a good thing, especially when there's Niter involved. Uh, we've got Ur. Uh, uh, do we attack? Yes. Yes, of course we do. In we go and blonk. That is our city now liberated. Nah, we're going to keep it. And hopefully that will start putting more pressure on. Yeah, it does. <laughs> keep on converting. Okay, that's looking good. We've got one more in this direction. Yep. Okay, Sousa is now converted. Okay, good. Now, looks like our cavalry units are going to have a good old time here. Uh, where are we looking? This is Ethiopia. Okay, nobody's got walls up. This honestly couldn't be better for a naval invasion. Oh no, there is one set of walls here in the capital. Ugh, never mind. Starting to really do some proper settling now, which is very unlike me. You genuinely attempting to settle everywhere we can get our hands. I have just all my faith at the moment being ploughed into more settlers. We're going to get so many cities. I have no idea if this is going to be helpful at all, but my god, we're going to give it a go. Again, very kindly leaving warriors out for me. There is the religion being spread. Okay, is it time that we made landfall? I think what we'll do is we'll just pick up a little bit of science first, and then we'll start moving my units forward. You know what? I do. I do think it's time to make landfall. Right. Uh, oh, that German has an upgrade. Oh, these guys are powerful. Okay, right. Well, in that case, it's just a galley with 46 strength is going to be the one to take over Sousa. And donk. Okay, rebellion in three turns. Let's immediately get ourselves Victor over on the scene. Okay, we've now got effectively five turns to capture our next city. We should be able to do that pretty quickly by taking over this one now. We've also got, have you seen how many units we've got coming over now? This is absolutely mad. We've also got missionaries left, right and centre that we can use to just sort of spike in. Okay, yeah, this is a proper invasion now. No military emergencies. Okay, right, people are going to military emergency meet, so it depends on who goes to war with me. Uh, hopefully it's nobody new. No, oh, Canada! Canada have jumped in. Oh, Canada. We were having so much fun. I thought we were buds. You know, I thought you enjoyed subjugation. Clearly not. All right, well, luckily for you, I've got some Tagmas on the way to the scene right now because they were definitely not after Cahokia. So, you know, I don't have units near you. Actually, I've got walls in other cities as well, so they can't take anything. Here's hoping. Okay, right. Um, Victor has got his plus four upgrade, which is really handy. And look how easy this is being made for me. Ethiopia are now chucking apostles at me. I mean, honestly, like how easy do they want to make this? Oh, it just built itself walls. How cute that they think that would in some way help the situation. Ugh. Dear, dear, dear. Right, this archer come in and condemn the heretic. Yes. Oh, this is wonderful. Already, already we have it under siege. We're pillaging everything we can. You can see I changed my mind and I'm now getting printing because quite frankly, I think that's going to be the best thing for me. Um, I think at the moment, we just, I think we just take the city actually. Uh, as much as it's fun to plunder, I'm going to move the Droman on. I'm just going to have a snoop around, just check if there's anything going to pop up in this direction. And we'll just missionaries all onto land. Lovely units in you come into different directions. We're just going to get you all. To, I mean, I've just got so many units. 730 military strength at this moment alone. It is pretty delightful. One more city down here. Oh, yes, the Great Barrier Reef. It does fill me with joy. Got loads of little cities popping up now. I've got another one that's going to pop up in this direction. I just want to get this Niter as well. Niter is a wonderful thing. Um, I take, why did you go there? Go this direction. God, sometimes the automate's like, hmm, you want me to automate explore the world? Great, let me go into the middle of the Arctic and Antarctic and go and find all the icebergs. It's like, no, that's clearly not what I wanted you to do. I wanted to find something useful. Ugh, I don't know. It's just weird, isn't it? Yeah, just to add insult to injury, we can navally attack this place, but not before I plunder a little bit more stuff. Yes, I can just plunder all of this. As I say, it's easier for me to repair later, and the yields I get from it are just it's worth it. It really is worth it. 
there's printing lovely astronomy is all done keep the city yes oh my god playing without challenge like limitations is so much more fun <laughs> like yeah it's really good fun it's just like oh can you beat the game without using campuses it's like yes i can i can but it's like it's a real pain <laughs> do i have to i mean sure I, I, it's kind of self-imposed but you know that's not the point that's not the point of this random complaint i'm making uh condemn Come on, stop throwing apostles at me. This is a war, damn it. Oh, actually, if I just quickly purchase in the armory, which I can't do because I'm just missing a little bit of gold. So no gold I can... No, I've, I've kind of wasted my move, didn't I? Uh, let's go to my ally quickly. I need 100 gold. What would you give me? Uh, can I just... What, what do you want for 100 gold? Actually, they, will, they do want to take some nitre. So if I give you some iron and I give you some nitre... Yeah, you know what that'll do. Thank you. Okay, now I can go and buy myself an armory, which boosts. So I've now got gunpowder, which is lovely. Okay, now I'm only, only two crossbowmen. Have I really not done that? Wait, that's tragic. Okay, it's been one of those weird games where, because I'm focusing on such weird techs, like it's just the stuff that I'm missing, it's really strange. Canada, don't leave things for me to plunder like that. It's very, very easy for me. Okay, I've got all my units coming around now. Uh, I can just start doing some damage to the walls because why not? Everyone is happy. You're making this very, very easy for me. This city's mine now, which is good. Uh, this Truman can come in and just kill some more religion for me. Thank you very much. It's very kind of you. Um, okay, right, Coupe, if that Hinduism starts spreading, you're next. I don't, I don't kid about this sort of thing. It really annoys me when people start spreading their religion to me. I'm very, very two-sided on that topic. Um, humanism, yes, it's all good. We're just pillaging. Pillaging, 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 pillaging. And, I mean, admittedly, my, my justification is that by doing this, I am actually... Um, why did you not go down? Oh, come on. I am actually stopping them from... Um, uh, having too much wall strength. So, you know, there is a reason to it. Maybe. I think I might actually switch to theocracy. I'll keep changing my mind on this one, but I've got press gangs. I'm not building naval units at the moment. Hang on, sometimes does this. Change my policies. There we go. Not building that very much at the moment. I'd rather keep the yields going. Where is it? Raid. Raid and chivalry. Again, not really building units at the moment. So let's just go for conscription. Builders, yes, that's really good, but I could do with something better. Let's go for campus. Lovely. Uh, that's a useless policy. Let's go for merchant confederation. Get me a little bit more gold. Okay, that's better. I like that a little bit more, especially because in the next couple of turns, I should be able to afford Isidor e and get myself the wonder because I haven't forgot about the Venetian arsenal. That is something that I do want to build at some point. I've got, like, this is a huge navy focused game. So the more I can do that, the better. No, Persia. What what makes you think you're going to walk out of this alive? Honestly. Pillage that gold so that I can come in and get this crossbow to boost metal casting. Because, of course, we are playing this as quick as we can. Can I spread they might be crabs? Yes, I can. That helps massively because now I've got Crusade. Which means when I attack, my horseman, my tagma, can eat through the walls. So now it's a case of, do I do more plundering or do I attack? Uh, let's get you to attack first and then this one will finish it off. So let's just get one more plunder to get metal casting. In you come and then we'll get that attack in. Take the city like so. Oh, that felt like a good sequence of moves. That really did. And uh, Montreal's defenses are now down. This Tagma, oh, he's really, really weak. Let's do some pillaging and just get you to wait. Again, there's no rush. There's no rush. I'm just making sure we don't die. That's the most important thing here. I have to find Desi. Desi is their holy site. Is there any of these ones, Harar? No. It's going to be in a little bit, isn't it? Okay. Keep an eye out for that one. The problem is, Persia, either they've run out of units or their units are not playing ball because I can't see any of them. Um, which is causing me to, uh, I just can't spread my religion as much as I would like to. Okay, um, it's okay. 
We will continue to press into Buenos Aires. As I said, if I can just get a couple more unit kills, I feel like I will be very effectively pushing. And that's uh, there's a spearman here, which is just... I mean, you really didn't want to be left there. That was a bad, bad move for you. Uh, they meant by crabs. Okay, this is good. Our religion is starting to spread a little bit now. Oh, look, like, for instance, this sort of unit is a great find for me. Because just with a couple of shots, I should be able to start spreading my religion. Okay, it doesn't spread to there, annoyingly. That's a bit annoying. Never mind. Oh, someone bought him. Arse. Damn it. That's really, really annoying. Okay, right, fine. We'll just get some missionaries. Uh, and... I actually do need to get Impossible in so I can start to get myself some Inquisitors. That would be handy. Everyone is pillaging. La 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 la. Okay, this is good. I do need a naval unit actually to stop Montreal from healing. Hmm. Sodo has joined my religion? I don't think I've even met Sodo. Oh, they're over there. Oh, nice. That's quite handy. Okay, just firing in. My Germans are being an absolute nuisance. Which is really good. Scotland, you've moved your unit right in the way there. That's that's very, very annoying. Uh, it's stopping me from sieging. It's, it's like the sort of like cheap trick I would pull. How dare they? Right, hang on. If I move you to there and then move you round. There we go. We've got the siege on. I knew it was possible. Okay, get the missionary in. Oh, that's going to be quite a lot of missionaries. Quite a lot of missionary power to knock that city off. Fine. Well, it is what it is. Gonna take a bit of a gamble here. This guy's on 11 health, but it says it can win. So, yes. There we go. Sorry, Canada. You had the unlucky sort of privilege of, I guess, being right next to me. Another military emergency failed. Oh, that's a shame. Christina. <laughs> Do you want to give me all your stuff? I don't really care about... Nope. Oh, I can just take all they've got. Hang on. Again, I reckon that's going to be about 50. Let's go for 50, see if my gamble... Oh, no, not quite. Not quite. 60. Okay, that'll do. Um, brilliant. Well, we'll keep we'll keep some. There's four, four turns. Actually, no, we'll have lost it all by that point. No point. Gilgamesh. What would you give me for all of this? Vote well for me, will you? There you go, 28 gold per turn. It's not much, but it'll do. It all helps. Okay, now do we want to just... I think I might actually have to build some more navy soon. I'm just thinking about, I've got lack of boats and they're all kind of scattered around doing really random things up here. Uh, I don't know, maybe. Kill that unit and, oh, nope, doesn't quite bring it. Actually, hang on. Yes, it does. Ugh, I don't know why it shows that sometimes. Okay, this is good. Oh, oh look at that. It's starting to spread. This is good. Curasar, 64 strength. Oh, yeah. This is where we start to laugh. Okay, hang on. Uh, let's just see if we can spread our religion anymore. Nope, not this time. Only 115 gold for the upgrade. Okay, you know what? Let's just start to upgrade all my units in and out. This is going to be a nice little upgrade for me. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Delightful. Oh, we randomly took this city as well. Delightful. Oh, and... Which city? Oh, this one down here. Oh, it's even got an aqueduct for me. That's sweet, isn't it? Oh, lovely. So now, if I buy an arena... Yeah, a Curacao. God, that's tough. Uh, Mongolia don't like me. They they decided that they wanted to, um, to start fronting up to me. So actually, you know what? I quite like that as an idea. Should we go, go, go to war with them? How's this for a sweet little canal city? Oh, yeah. And look at this. Look at this, somehow, <laughs> we're actually only seven techs behind now, and we're starting to accelerate through. Genghis Khan is hilariously low tech, uh, as is Cyrus, and Scotland are doing pretty good. Okay, that's fine. I was having a think about going after Scotland, because they refuse to put walls up, which, you know, I'm not going to encourage them to do. I'm just going to let that one slide, I think. Oh, I found Desi, by the way, so there is holy site number three. Okay, we have our targets now. I'm just going to bring my boats back a little bit because we've got a whole bunch of upgrades to be enjoying with these guys now. So I think that should just be a... If I move you across the river and get you to attack, there we go. That is... Oh, not quite an instant kill. I hoped that would be an instant kill. Never mind. Okay. Um, just keep doing this, this, this. There we go. 
there's the religion you know what this means it now means we can just shove our unit straight into it like so the curacao attack is pretty damn strong actually one two like so and then the horse takes it nice liberate to buenos aires nah oh, the statue of zeus was built but it means i can rush through a, a university so I, you know what it's probably not the worst thing in the world but still pretty cool yeah like i know persia i know you want peace i do know that but have you considered that i just don't give a damn because quite frankly you're better dead to me i know it's harsh to say and i feel terrible for saying it but you know it's just the truth have you seen the size of my empire already oh my god it's just just and this is only turn 145 it's only 680 ad and already just to put it into context i've got 34 cities with my religion my religion is now giving me 102 gold per turn yeah it's pretty much single-handedly just getting me through the game at the moment and also now i've got frigates because you know i wasn't powerful enough as it was musketman assault and boom here comes the religion bomb but actually look they've, they've got warrior monks they're attacking me with as well oh yeah this really does feel like a game where they're just like you know what can you just um can you just knock me out please please just knock me out i i, I can't be bothered right, now we can declare war on cahokia i am basically just triggering as uh, triggering as many military emergencies as i can in order just to sort of increase my gold income a little bit look i've already managed to surround them yeah this is this is going to be a quick one they might be crabs and also no grievances for me thank you oh more grievances for me uh, well you know it's, it's, it's almost almost what i asked for oh yes ethiopia they're charging it with all their units oh they don't understand how bad a bad a decision that is for me or for them i should say right um okay if i bring everything around i can bring my musketman through uh as i said we're just focusing on the units for now because i can do one and then two uh, just keep spreading the religion come on you need to get rid of this horrible religion just do it 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 oh yeah 84 strength attack bam and then one two that was an easy to take city it just stops other people from sort of disobeying me and taking it singapore is a really good one what i'm doing is i'm actually building a collection of city states that all give me trade routes to, uh, to other city states effectively so kamasi is really good venice um i'm unsure whether i'll pick that one up i'll be honest but singapore i mean the problem with venice is if i take venice over it basically spreads my religion into mongolia's lands and mongolia aren't doing very well that's the thing it's, it is tempting Boof. there we go just flipped another two cities how's this one doing oh desi is almost flipped as well okay right yes yes i know that the cities are really important but quite frankly my yeah, i think my focus has got to be killing all these warrior monks um can i actually no i say that pillaging as well let's just pillage our way through the industrialization era um have i got everything that i need to kind of going let's just get one more attack in there I think it's worth just holding fire for now yeah let's do this so we'll go one two like so okay yeah this is working well this is why the pillaging is so good and in i go like so yes spreading my religion everywhere <laughs> jimmer now follows my religion of course it does and then this one and then gondar follows my religion just oh and desi that's desi gone as well that means my texas ability now is plus nine so combined with the crusade belief of plus 10 that is now a plus 19 bonus plus 19 you know what i like that i like that a lot let's just anyone else going to be doing any plundering no i don't think so so let's just take this city bonk for me and don't forget because of course i've got my religion everywhere keeping hold of these cities is really really easy um let's just quickly kill you lovely and then we'll go to we'll bump like that um, my musketman it's the quickest way in that way apparently okay 
And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton for all of the help you give on Patreon, as well as everybody else who likes and subscribes to the video. Cheers, you help keep me going.